Hi friends, today I want to teach you a order typed called GTT or good till triggered which you can do within Zerodha Kite application. Now if you have any stock in your holdings within your portfolio, all your long term holdings or the holdings for which you have paid full money and you have it in your DMAT account are seen over here. For these stocks, you can set a new order type or a special order type called GTT. Now imagine having to track the market day after day for various ups and downs to decide when you want to buy or sell something can be very tedious for a busy professional. So a good order type called GTT helps you decide your buy or sell prices and code in a way code it into Zerodha such that these orders will be sent to the, to the exchange NSE or BSC whenever this price comes in the market. Good till triggered orders are open for 365 days which means that your orders are good for a year from today. For example, if I own a particular stock and it doesn't matter which stock it is, I'm just giving you an example and as you can see this is an uh, account which I only currently used to make demo videos so do not take this as a stock recommendation please suppose i had purchased this stock at a certain price which over here is 1860 rupees and i am now thinking that hey if the price goes down to 1750 or if the price goes up to 1950 i want to sell this in the former, if it's at 1750, I want to basically put a stop loss at 1750. And at 1950, I want to book profit. So this becomes my target. But given that this is not a very volatile stock and there may be circuit limits, etc., etc., these prices may not happen today. And I don't want to open Zerodha and track the prices minute by minute for this to happen. In such cases, I can just set GTT order and say whenever these prices are seen in the market, Zerodha will take this stock and send it to NSC or BSC and execute my trade on my behalf, which is pretty cool. So to place a GTT order, I will go into my positions tab within that in holding. I will select the stock for which I want to set GTT and I will click on the box over here. Once I click on this box, you are seeing a bigger box below has now opened, which has an option called create GTT here at the bottom, which I am going to use. Now, when I do a create GTT kind of an order, it gives me various options. It gives me buy and sell. And based on that, there are more options. So let's look at a simple buy order over here. If I decide to buy this stock, basically I can now say that if the current price is 1809, at what price would I be willing to buy this? So if I want to add more quantities to my holdings, I can wait for the price to come down and whenever the price comes down, I can buy it. I can also do the reverse. I can say I want to sell this and this will be a stop loss. I can now say, hey, if the price starts falling and this becomes, say, 1750, I want to stop my losses at 1750. So for this, when I am selling, what I am going to do is I am going to say a single sell order, which will be for my stop loss. I will decide a trigger price for the same. So I'm going to say the trigger price is 1750 because I want to stop my losses. And I am going to put a limit order where I have to now decide a price at which it should be executed. Now you will notice that trigger and price are two different controls over here, which is often the case when placing a stop loss order. What it simply means is that, hey, when the price starts falling from 1809 and it comes all the way to 1750, this means the momentum of price is going down. This also means that the price, by the time Zerodha sends my order to the exchange, the price might very well be 1749 or 1740 because the price has been continuously falling either for a few minutes or a few days or a few months or however. 
and for that reason what we are saying is that there should be a trigger when will zerodha know that this order which theoretically could be open for 365 days as an instruction on zerodha end at what point should it be sent to the nsc that point is this trigger price whenever zerodha sees that nsc is now trading this thing nsc or bsc is now trading this stock at 1750 it will trigger my order what will this order be this order will be whatever i place down over here so this is my trigger which says when to place this order and what should be my order now why if if you think about it let me put my quantity as 1 for example i want to sell one quantity of this stock at a certain price what is this price we already know that our trigger is 1750 and the market has been falling so i would ideally li like to put 1749 over here you can also put 1750 itself over here but you will not put 1751 over here i will not do that which is because the price is already 1750 if the price is already 1750 how can i sell at 1751 my order is most likely to not go through so i will put 1750 or to be on the safer side 1749 over here got it it's pretty clear i am saying sell this i am saying single we'll come back to oco my trigger is 1750 my quantity is 1 and i want to sell it at anything below 1750 or 1750 itself to be on the safer side i am saying 1749 and this is how gtt will happen once i swipe this this order will be placed at zerodha's end and whenever the market price reaches this zerodha will send it to the exchange but there is one more nuance over here which makes our life complicated let me execute this order and then show you what that nuance is before that i also want you to know that this oco order type is one cancels other this will allow us to set a target as well where i can say if there is a upper upside call 1950 place that also but that is a very complicated transaction in itself so i will make a dedicated video on the same and i'll give you a link in description or link at the end of this video to watch it but currently let me just place this gtt order which is a stop loss by swiping this button on the right and once i do this let me tell you the complication i was talking about you see this gtt created i can go to my orders tab within orders tab there is something called gtt i am going to click on gtt and you will notice over here there is a gtt order placed over here which says sell one quantity at if the price reaches 1750 my trigger is at 1750 and this is the current price if i click on this i can just decide to modify this gtt as well or delete it if you want to delete a gtt this is an old gtt i can just say delete but you know about the t pin which we spoke of cdsl is the entity which holds my stocks and here is where the complication comes in cdsl is the custodian central depository something something i am forgetting the full form they hold my stocks this is where my dmat account is zerodha is only a broker which deposits shares in my cdsl account when i make a purchase but when i sell something zerodha cannot take stocks away from my cdsl account to sell it on the market without my authorization that is why when we go to portfolio within portfolio you will see a authorization tab for me to sell any of my stocks zerodha needs a authorization with cdsl to make transactions on my behalf which means whenever for our gtt the market hits 1750 on that day i will need to give an authorization to zerodha for my stocks to be sold i hope zerodha will send me a notification for the same but this does mean that without this authorization this gtt will not be effective if i click on authorization 
you will see over here i will continue to cdsl and i will have to enter my t pin now i am not giving this authorization right now but i hope you have seen my video on how t pin works and how to create your t pin how to generate your t pin and this is one complexity with gtt orders since this order is sometime in the future our authorization which is only for one day will not suffice and whichever day this order gets triggered we will have to go and enter our t pin now one of the things which popular or smart traders do is every day after 8 am they come to zerodha they go to their portfolio tab they click on this authorization they enter their t pin and give zerodha the authorization for the whole day you can give zerodha authorization for the current day after 8 am now that is something you could do your gtt order will get cancelled or it will not trigger if your authorization is not given that is what zerodha says friends what a lot of traders do is they do not use the t pin system and they give a poa power of attorney to zerodha which takes away the need for cdsl requiring a t pin it's not considered safe and as you can see in my account also i have a t pin requirement so every day at 8 am there is no other option for us but to give an authorization to zerodha else our gtt is pretty much ineffective next let us learn how to place oco orders in uh zerodha gtt i'll give you those uh, links in description and i hope you have liked this video and subscribe to the channel bye